How's it going everybody, it's Sean here, and I'm here today to give you as a review of the Run The Jewels collaboration with Nike SB on this Dunk Low Pro Quick Strike in this deep royal blue colorway. So this is the highly anticipated first collaborative shoe between Nike SB and rap duo Run The Jewels. Releasing both a low top and a Nike Dunk High as well, I managed to grab these low tops through the Nike Sneakers app, where they had a shock drop on April 20th. So these retailed for a price of 130 US dollars, which is roughly $175 converted to Canadian dollars. And the official colorway for this shoe is deep royal blue, blue chill, and active pink. And for anyone watching who's not a fan of Run The Jewels, the colorway for this specific pair is inspired by the cover art for their third studio album. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. So we've moved on from that striped or rainbow style box, and now we're officially in, I guess, the cream or off-white colored box era. So we have Nike SB branding on the top in this gray color, and then the rest of the box is pretty standard. As far as the shoe goes, so taking a deep dive into the details, on the toe box you can see this is covered in a blue colored flat suede, which feels extremely buttery and soft to the touch. Just like any other dunk, we have these perforations on the toe box, and then surrounding the front toe cap, we have a darker blue colored suede, which feels a bit rougher compared to the lighter blue suede on the toe box. So we have more of that lighter blue suede covering the eyelids of the shoe, and then underneath this on the quarter panel, we have more of that darker blue suede, and then overlaid on top of this, we have this vibrant magenta or pink colored swoosh, which looks and feels like it's very nice quality. Moving downwards, you can see we have more of that lighter blue suede, and this wraps around the entire bottom heel of the shoe. And then next to this, we have this light blue colored genuine leather, which feels extremely soft to the touch as well. And then embroidered at the very top of the heel, here we have this gold colored Nike branding. In terms of laces, so these come with three different lace options. The standard default lace are these textured, thin, oval shaped laces in this light blue color. But they also give you two other traditional oval shaped laces, one in a darker blue color and one in more of a medium blue, which is the one that I preferred. And I think this gives it more of that classic Nike SB Dunk look. Underneath this, so the tongue is covered in this tumbled leather in this light blue color. And on the top of the tongue, we have this tag featuring Nike SB branding in gold. So the back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe, this is lined in almost like a synthetic suede material. And being that this is a Nike SB Dunk Low Pro model, Surrounding the back Achilles area of the shoe, we have this additional heel pillow, but this is also constructed out of that same synthetic suede material. And then moving on to the insoles, so these are pretty well padded foam insole. It's covered in more of a darker blue textile on the top, and then pressed onto the heels, we have the Run the Jewels hands logo, with one depicting the fist and the other one depicting the gun on both the right and the left foot respectively. And this being a Nike SB release, Underneath the heel, of course, we have a Zoom Air unit, but printed on the Zoom Air bags, we have these personalized Run the Jewels branding here as well, which is a nice added touch. So the upper of the Dunk sits atop this semi-translucent rubber cup sole, which is done in this icy blue finish. And then turning this pair over to the bottom, so this outsole is also done in that semi-translucent finish. You can see on the forefoot, we have Run the Jewels branding in dark blue, and then in the middle of the outsole, we have this exposed wedge of foam in darker blue, and here we have Nike SB branding. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, so my foot measures as a true size 10 slightly on the wider side, and normally for Nike SB Dunk Lows, I usually go up to a 10 and a half. But for this specific pair, I don't know what it was about this sneaker, but I felt like it wasn't as snug as some of my other Nike SB Dunk Lows in the past. So getting these in a 10 and a half, there was about a thumbs width between the top of the shoe and the top of my foot, which honestly, it felt fine, especially from a width perspective, because sometimes SB Dunks can fit a little bit narrow, but I felt like they ran a little bit longer than I was used to. So if you have a narrow, normal, or a slightly wide foot, and you like more of that snug one-to-one -one fit, you can definitely go true to size with this shoe, but if you have a really wide foot, I'd still recommend going up that half size just to alleviate any potential pain from a width perspective. Moving on to the comfort, so unfortunately with a Dunk Low Pro model, it's honestly not that comfortable. It makes sense though because this is meant to be a performance skateboarding shoe, so it's going to be more flat, more low to the ground and firm, and there's not too much from a softness and step in comfort perspective, even though there is zoom air underneath the heel of the insoles. So, if you're looking for a very comfortable shoe, this is not it. But if you're just going to be rocking these casually, and you're not going to be on your feet or walking super long distances, I think this shoe will be okay. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship on this pair. So first off, material quality, I thought it was great. 
the suede that they use on the shoe, the leathers. I thought Nike utilized pretty solid materials. It was definitely a step above a typical Nike sportswear dunk, for example. And from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, I thought it was solid. There were some minor issues with the stitching, but I thought the paint job was good. The glue stains were pretty non-existent, so I really had no major complaints at all about this release. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet, I'll lace them up and I'll show you guys how these look. Obviously, if you're a fan of Run the Jewels, I think both the low and the high top version were pretty much a must have considering this is their very first collaboration with Nike. And between the high and the low, it was an easy choice for me. I thought the low looked a lot, lot better. I honestly wasn't a fan of the high top whatsoever. So specifically for this low top version, I think it's a very loud, very bold and very vibrant colorway. This is definitely a shoe that's going to turn a lot of heads and I think this is a very solid shoe for the summer. However, personally speaking, I don't think I'd be wearing the shoe too often. It just for me, it's a little bit too loud and it's done in a way that doesn't necessarily fit my personal style. But again, this is just one of those shoes I can see and appreciate on other people's feet. I just think it wouldn't necessarily get the proper wear and time that it deserves if I was to keep these in my personal collection. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Run the Jewels Nike SB Dunk Low in this deep royal blue color. What are your overall thoughts on this pair and this colorway? And between the low and the high, which of the two do you guys prefer? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in my next video.